Hello, my name is Alessandro Bruno. I'm currently working as a research associate at Bournemouth University in the National Centre for Computer Animation. And today I'm going to be talking to you about our contribution to Deep Tail 2020 entitled A Sciency Based Technique for Advertisement Layout Optimization to Predict Customers' Behavior. I uh, really care about saying that this is one of the results out of an applied research project between Bournemouth University and the Shopper Limited Company. So let's move on to the outline of the presentation. Uh, I will, we will talk about customer retail environments and uh, uh, what's the role played by visual attention processes and more particularly visual silency and silency maps. Our proposed method is about the optimization of layout content based on a new effectiveness score, which is based on local and overall silency applied to all, to all spatial, uh, spatial layout permutations. Um, more particularly, I will describe a use case based on a 2x2 two two grid-based advertisement layout, and then I will show you how we validated our, our method by using a webcam-based eye tracking tool. And then the experimental uh, results section um, will be useful to describe how um, our method uh, performs. And the Outlook's slide will be ending my presentation. So let's move on to the first slide, uh, which is about customer retail environment. It's um, uh, nowadays we observe customer experience to be increasingly immersive and interactive uh, because of the so many new elements characterizing customer retail environments, IoT, AI, deep learning, digital signage, computer vision, big data analytics. In our work, we mainly deal with employment of computer vision solutions based on deep learning models to make customer experience more engaging. Visual attention is one of the most one of, one of the aspects that play such a critical role in the analysis of a customer's behavior on advertising campaigns continuously displayed in shops and retail environments. So, what is visual silency? Visual silency deals with the imitation of a human vision system by catching the most important regions of images from a perceptual viewpoint. A uh, visual silency computation objective can be described as predicting, locating, mining the silent visual information by simulating the corresponding mechanisms in the human vision system. Here is um, an example. We have an input image, the corresponding silency map, which is a grayscale image encoding the intensity of, of the silency of each pixel in the continuous range 0, 01 or 0, 255. It depends on how uh, we are, if, if we are using uh, uh, if we are using uh, um, a continuous uh, range from 0 to 1 or um, unsigned in integer uh, with 8 bits. Then we have on the right hand side a heat map, uh, which is a way, um, a standard way to highlight the most important regions by using uh, the silency map overlaid with the input image. Uh, why, uh, visual silency, why is visual silency important? Because given limited computational resources, the human visual system relies on it to catch the, the most important information from the huge amount of input from the visual world. So let's move on to the objectives of, of our work. We want to set up a new automatic system to predict the human visual system behavior of customers when advertisements pop out, uh, optimize content layout configurations toward the well-balanced, uh, dwell time over each region of the advertising campaign, assess a direct, direct correlation between the variance of the silent local areas and dwell times of viewers over the same regions in the image. And then we want to make the automatic solution lightweight enough to be run on common laptops and devices. So there's a premise that it, it, it is necessary to be told, which is for a given layout, we run some uh, preliminary um, experiments. So for example, for a two by two grid based layout, a number of four factorial spatial permutation are given. So the first queue out of some of, this, of uh, the preliminary experiments show different silency behaviors of the same regions whose image consists of. More particularly, if you can see on the uh, left hand side of the slide, we have, uh, for example, an image uh, which is up a spatial permutation of the given um, layout and the corresponding silency map down just down below. You can see with one, two, three, four, I um, 
<coughs> indicate the, and show the corresponding local silencing maps. Well, our um, effectiveness score is based on both uh, the overall and the local uh, silencing maps. Uh, what I mean uh, with uh, overall silencing map is the, basically the silencing map of the whole um, current spatial permutation. Um, Considered, considered as a unique image, and the local um, silency maps are uh, meant to be indicating the silency map of each local region. So, uh, um, how we extract silency maps? We used a deep learning based solution trained over an object oriented image and video dataset called Davis. So, let's move on to the algorithm. Uh, more particularly the flowchart. So as input, we have M, N, which are input parameters to define the grid-based layout. The algorithm expects to be receiving uh, M by N images to stop the current uh, advertising campaign. Then we then the, the algorithm starts uh, generating um, the M by N factorial, uh, M by N factorial layout permutations. And on the top of it, the algorithm um, extract silency maps out of all spatial permutations. So at the end of it, we have a N by N factorial layout silency maps. Then we apply our um, effectiveness score um, out of each layout silency map, and we sort them out uh, by, uh, we, we sort all of them um, in the shunning order, in the shunning ES score values. The output of the our method is the highest scoring layout. So uh, here is uh, just a bit of mathematical aspects behind the proposed method. First of all, it is necessary to mention that we want to analyze the varying number of sun pixels of each of the n by n images composing the given layout. ES stands for effectiveness score. We want to score each layout permutation because of the variance of uh, local silency across each region of the layout itself. More particularly, uh, ES is the inverse of the relative variance of the local silency maps. And this is uh, our uh, score uh, that we use to sort all, all the spatial permutation for a given layout. This is the, the question. And then here we go with a uh, question one, which describe how we compute the uh, and extract the, the effectiveness score by, by considering, by counting in the number of, uh, of uh, most silent pixels out of each region whose the current layout is made of. So for a given layout with n by n images, nmsp is the number of the most silent pixels in the local silency map, LSM, of the HDH image. So Basically, we set up an experimental um, fixed threshold, and the number of the most silent pixels are the number of pixels in the silency map whose, whose intensity is uh, larger than, a fixed, than the fixed threshold. So then um, I want to mention, I want to highlight that each layout content permutation is the union of n by n images as described in question three. The layout show, showing the highest score is output of the proposed method. So, as experimental results, we used a data set made up of uh, made of uh, made up of um, some advertising images from Pittsburgh University, and uh, we, uh, for example, this is a result of uh, the first campaign. So, we have four images. You can see some example on the right hand side of the slide, and we analyze uh, all spatial permutation in terms of. Uh, ES uh, values. So the first and the second um, configuration correspond to the highest and the lowest uh, scoring um, in terms of ES values. And as you may notice, we have a heat map describing uh, the, the high movements of um, a number of 20 participants um, that you know run through a calibration step and uh, eye tracking session, uh, which I will describe later on. So what we uh, may notice is that the dwell time over each region for the best uh, configuration, the one on the top, um, the, the dwell time over each region uh, is 
definitely much more equally distributed than uh, rather than the second one, which is the, the one on the, on the bottom, corresponding to the lowest scoring configuration. So moving on to the next slide, uh, we adopted the Gaze Recorder, which is a web tool for webcam-based eye tracking, to carry out the validation of the proposed method. More particularly, we involved 20 participants in the age range 25-40 uh, to show the layout content permutations with the highest and lowest ES value out of five graphical campaigns from the uh, advertisement data set I mentioned earlier. Each image is shown for 10 seconds. Hit maps and dwell times are collected as shown below, and experiments were ultimately conducted to assess consistency between our results and eye track sensation data, which represents our which represents our ground truth. So here is some other uh, graphs. The one on the top shows the highest and lowest ES score uh, scores for each advertising campaign. The one below uh, shows the dwell time variance corresponding to each campaign, so campaign one, two, up to five. So what we uh, notice is that um, the, the basically the the best, as well as we uh, as we notice in the as far as it's concerned, campaign one, that the ones the, the best scoring in terms of ES value corresponds to the one with the, uh, the lower uh, dwell time variance, meaning a more equally distributed uh, dwell time over each region. Um, we notice the same behavior over the other four campaign, number two, three, four, and five, as you can see um, in the graph down below on the bottom right corner of the slide. So here is uh, some description of the settings of experimental results. We, uh, we used a MacBook Pro with 16, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 2.4 gigahertz quad-core Intel Core i5. The average running time on a 2x2 grid layout is 40 seconds, including all the permutations and uh, the extraction of 70 map and uh, the computation of ES score values. We used Python 3 version Python uh, version 3.8.2 zero and TensorFlow 2.4.0 as a deep learning Python framework. As conclusions and future works, um, we um, introduced a new method for layout adver advertisement content optimization, uh, more particularly uh, towards uh, customers' behavior in intelligent retail environments. The method is fully automatic and relies on the three main steps as described earlier on. And as a study case, some experiments were conducted on five advertising campaigns and using a two by two grid based layout. Now, interesting matches are found between best ES scoring special configurations and the corresponding, corresponding dwell times out of eye tracking sessions with 20 participants. Further attention can be focused on the integration of scan path prediction models to the current solution. That way, both spatial and time aspects of visual attention will be used to go through advert optimization. Uh, right, last but not least, credits and the references will end my presentation. So this research was supported by Innovate UK Smart Grants. And uh, yeah, the title is Shopper, is Shopper Dynamically Optimized Digital Content. Here are some references for who might be interested in, in the topic. And uh, so thanks for your attention. And the last but not least, our contacts for who might be interested in being in touch to some uh, future works. Thank you for your attention again.